going to start these muffins off by, I have one pan that makes 12 muffins and I have them lined with some parchment paper little uh, liners. I will link these down below for you. These are really nice. They don't stick to the muffins. That's why I like to use them. And I am preheating the oven to 375. Set that aside. I have my flour here, my baking powder, and my salt. We're going to mix that. And we're going to just whisk this in together. And this is going to sift the flour. Makes it a little bit, bit airy. Okay, we're going to set this aside. Here I have my butter that is at room temperature. Okay, so I have my butter room temperature in on the stand mixer. We are going to cream that just for a moment. We're going to add in our sugar. Okay, we are going to stop the mixer. We're just going to scrape everything off the bottom. Since it wasn't a lot of butter, it tends to stick to the bottom. So we're just going to scrape that up. Okay, now we are going to add our eggs. I have one egg and one egg yolk. We're gonna add that in. Okay, we are going to add our vanilla. Okay, now that that's all incorporated, we're just gonna check the bottom again real quick. It should be okay, but just in case. Now we are going to add half of the flour and our milk, all of the milk. We're going to give this a mix. And start adding the rest of the flour. Should be good. We do not want to over mix this. I'm going to pop you up back over to the counter. All right, so I have the batter here. I am going to add our pecans, chopped pecans, and our blueberries. We're just going to give this a little bit of a mix. And that should be good. Okay, so I'm going to start pouring them in here into our muffin tray. Okay, so I'm just going to start pouring them in. You're going to fill them about two-thirds of the way up. Okay, so the last step in these muffins are real easy as you saw. I have a little bit of sugar here in this bowl and I'm going to take a teaspoon of cinnamon and we're just going to mix this up. And we are going to sprinkle this on top of our muffins. And this gives it a little bit of a tiny little crunch uh, crust on top. And it's delicious. So you're just going to sprinkle it on top. Okay, and that's it. I already have the oven preheated to 375. These are going in for about 25 minutes. So I will be back with the finished product. Okay guys, the muffins are out of the oven. They are piping hot, so we're not going to touch them right now. I'm going to let them sit in the pan for 10 minutes and then I'm going to transfer them over to a cooling rack. And then we will give them a taste. So I will be right back. my recipe for the blueberry muffins very simple to make as you saw it just took a few minutes to put it all together and look at this deliciousness here now I have made these before put them into the pans and before baking I put it in the refrigerator in the morning 
bring them to room temperature, pop them in the oven, and you're ready to go for a nice hot muffin for breakfast. So it's that easy. So let's give them a try. I know they're good though. Mmm. Mm-hmm. So good. So, so good. So moist. You can taste those blueberries and the sugar topping gives it just a little bit of a crunch that I think you'll really enjoy. And if you want to change it out to some allspice or some maize, it goes well with any one of those spices. So give it a try. Change it around. But these are so good. I really think you're going to enjoy them. And they're so moist and, and just great. And they freeze really well. So if you want to freeze them, just set them on a tray. Put them into the freezer till they freeze. And then take them out, put them in a Ziploc bag, a freezer bag and you're ready to roll. Pull them out as you need them. Pop them in the toaster oven and you're ready to go. Okay guys, that's gonna conclude the video for today. I surely hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it for you. If you enjoyed the content, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Virtual Kitchen with Laura. And don't forget, go follow my new channel at Let's Haul Away. That channel consists of, of hauls, shopping, and crafts. Go check it out guys, go subscribe. I need all the help I can get on that channel right now. All right, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.